Yeah, it's actually a bit of an emotional moment for me because tomorrow, obviously, getting my new Rolls Royce, which sounds funny even to say it. It's been a long journey. Yes, I absolutely love it. So Rich and I both got new cars last week. Um, I got a new Range Rover Hybrid and Rich got a Rolls-Royce Cullinan. Both cars do pretty similar things, but for different prices. So um, me and the guys are gonna jump in the cars and go for a test drive and see how they go. You gotta put seatbelt on. Yeah, because otherwise it's gonna bong all the time. I don't, I don't know if it does. I think it bongs, mate. So, let's talk about the car. Maka, this is your new car. Tell us why you chose. What, the... it, what it is, probably. Well, more yeah, what it is. I chose the new Range Rover because um, firstly, I really like it. Oh, no, I'm driving it, by the way, and then he's going to drive mine in a minute. So yeah. we can do a little comparison. Um, yeah, I just think it looks really cool. It does um, yeah, look cool. Re really, really cool. I was originally going to get a Sport, but with these ones coming through, I just thought, I really, really, really like that. It just seems to be this, what I want. This yeah. is what engine, Mike? This is the P440E Hybrid, so three litre petrol and a bit of electric power Partly which, which on I, electric now it's very smooth very it's quiet lovely, isn't it? very very quiet. quiet so you get 55 mile range rather than the state adver advertised range or? advertised range i think is 75. okay but it's been pretty cold as well and you being the electric expert tells me that the warmer yeah, the, it gets yeah the better the range the better be. it gets yeah. yeah it's 18 miles from my house to work so i can get to work and back and back again so it's like three three journeys on, on, electric. on electric. That's good. That is good, actually. And it's still pretty quick. So you effectively are using it as an electric car? Pretty much, because I, like I like the experience of it as an electric car. It's quite, you know, it's the serenity. It's, yeah, exactly. It is, yeah. I mean, I feel like... Got, yeah. We've got a bit of a hangover today, so we went to the football last night. And this is a very nice car to be in right now. It's relaxing. Oh, I might have a little sleepy. <laughs> like we're sleeping at the sleeping green light. Sleeping at the green light. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe <laughs> Right, the drive's lovely. But it's, it's not slow as an electric car, is it? It doesn't no. feel, you know, because it's a big, massive thing and it's, yeah, not, yeah. A, and it's not a big motor, it's I don't think. It's got to be two and a half tonnes. I think Paul, yeah. our transport man, tells me that this is twice the weight of a standard car. Oh, what, with the hybrid stuff yeah. in it? Blimey. Yeah. Is it? It doesn't yeah. feel um, big either. Like, it doesn't feel as big as it looks, if we know what I mean. It's quite agile, it's isn't agile it? agile. The rear wheel steering. Rear wheel steering. That's what about me. Well, <laughs> Cliff's in the car, everyone, by the way. You, boom, boom. Uh, the boom, red boom. coats in the car. You've never been described as agile. Like it's like Basil Brush is in the car. Um, how do you switch it? If I wanted to switch this now to car car with yeah. engine. See the EV mode? You hit yeah, EV so you mute. just go through and in front of you it'll tell you what you're oh, in. Oh, that's EV, clever. EV, hybrid, or so you can go into whatever you want to go through. So, so if you want to put it into hybrid, there you go, you're in hybrid and it'll use what it should be using. Is that done it by itself? That's done, it? yeah. You just so select it. You just goes. select it on there and then you're on hybrid. So, um, yeah, you've got, you've got both. So this is the P440E. We're going to give it some nuts. We're going to give it some nuts. Not too much, otherwise the camera and the... That's a nice Rolls Royce behind us. Look. Oh, yeah. All right, let's give it some... Oh, bloody hell. Oh, yeah. It sounds nice, actually. It does sound nice. What is it, a V6? I think so, yeah. yeah. Yep. This is this is Great what sense. you would say is probably the perfect engine for this car, is it not? Yeah, it the is. The right amount of power, it's quick. And it's, and it's quiet. A Range Rover is supposed to be quiet. That's the whole point it's of a Range Rover. very quiet, isn't it? Big improvement on that I think it's brilliant. Car. I love yeah. it. I really love it. I like it a lot. The, the ride is smooth, comfortable. It looks incredibly American, though, doesn't it? It looks like an Escalade. I don't think that's a bad thing, though. No. I like, you know, it's a big S black. What, who made big black SUVs? Yeah, they, the they Americans. Made, yeah, that's, really what, true. that's where it started, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. CIA and stuff, chasing, chasing the president around. Yeah, <laughs> with wheel trims that fall off and yeah. right around the corner. Oh, looks like the president with his seatbelt on in the back here. Yeah. What fridge in this, Mike? No fridge, mate. No fridge. No, this is just the SE, which is the actual, yeah. the entry level. There's Range not, Rover. But with anything. spec, which is with sometimes a good way to go, isn't it? So this has got a tech pack, which gives you the clear view mirror, gives you head-up display, 
pan roof, is that extra? No, that's extra, yes, yeah, so a sliding pan roof. It self park, so it parks itself. Have you used that yet? Yeah, it works. But that's it? Yeah. Meridian sound, is that Meridian, standard? Is that yeah, option? Meridian sound, snows in the car. So it's pretty well spec. How much was this car, Mike? I think 112,000. For an autobiography, you get different leather inside, right? Different leather, oh, and you get leather, all of the leather, leather headlining. headlining. Yeah, um, but uh, this, in this engine, you're looking at another 20 grand, I think. But I mean, you've got adaptive cruise near heat, got, steering wheel heat, seats. You've got everything. There's lane nothing, assist. There? Like, well, There's very almost, little more you need. It kind of rules out the point of an autobiography. Massive. Because yeah, people scream and shout about having an autobiography, but in today's Range Rover, the SE comes with a massive spec, right? Yeah, so the Team. SE is equivalent to the old Vogue. So you used to run a Vogue, an SE, and an autobiography. Yeah. Now they run SE, which was the Vogue, HSE, which is the old SE, yeah. and the autobiography. So I think the one in the middle, the HSE. Which like, is now an SE. No, the no, the old SE is now the HSC, and they're both the oh. ones I think that are the ones well, to go for. Well, no, no, no where, where are they? You know, yeah, they're the ones in the middle of the SE. No one really oh, ever spec an SE oh, see in the old Range Rover, and yeah, yeah, who's yeah. going to spec the HSC? What's and the point? another valid yeah. point with Range Rover, and prove me if I'm wrong, they're none of them are bad like they used to be with autobiography all over the back or it's in HSC. your um, it's, it's in the window, and yeah. it's in the it's in the door card, isn't There's it? A little bit on the side of the car. Uh, if it's an autobiography. Only if it's an autobiography, it's an autobiography yeah. and it's tiny, it's black and it's yeah, that yeah. big. Yeah. So it's not like it's from the back and you notice it. They all look pretty much the same. Yeah. Cliff's very quiet today. He's Cliff's hung over. I'm taking it all in. <laughs> yeah, no. Do you want to read your messages, a send a message or make a call? Uh, Cancel. No problem, I won't. That's Jeff, he's in the boot. <laughs> 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 He reads Mike's messages to him all day. <laughs> yeah, he yeah. just lies there. <laughs> so is the question, how does it feel to you in relation to driving your car? Obviously they're worlds apart, but, uh, but doing the same, drive, same thing. To drive actually, this, it's a very, it's, they're very different to drive. I think, I think this in a lot of ways is a nicer drive. It's not so big. It's less boaty. But this is probably as close to a Cullinan, but better in ways. It's a very difficult one, that. What it feels like to me is that the price difference between the two, they both do exactly the same thing. Yeah. But it's a bit like buying a Gucci t-shirt or yeah. a H&M t-shirt. Is it worth the extra? Would you rather have this or 250 grand in your bank? And this. Yeah. Well, that's, you have, but you don't have 250 no. grand here because it's not no, how it is. It doesn't work like that. Yeah. Stupid thing to say. <laughs> Cliff, go back to being that, that's not, that, that's not. I think, you know, having a Rolls Royce is, is a box ticking. It's a ego, life experience. Life experience. Yeah. It's exactly what it is. Mm. It's a box ticking, egotistical move that you just want to tick in your lifetime, mm. which I've done now. I love that car more and more every day I drive it, though, funny enough. I, at first, I thought, shit, this is big, man. And you don't want to leave it anywhere. That's the only other thing with a car like that. You don't, mm, do I want to go and park it there? And it, yeah, whereas you, you worry about it. You know, with all due respect, you don't have that sort of issue with, with one of these. Yeah, I do. I was fuming the other day in Waitrose when I came back and there's a car parked like <laughs> about someone dare park next six, to you. six inches away from yeah. me. Like, so annoying. What are you yeah. doing? If you yeah. park the other end of the car yeah, park yeah. on your yeah. own and you come out and they're all parked next to you. Yeah. Because let's get straight. This is the best car I've ever owned, yeah, and yeah. therefore this is mm, feels the every much, every much, every bit as precious to me as yeah. the Rolls Royce feels to Rich. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and so if if I'm I'm panicking where I'm going to park it. Yeah. I would quite happily. I think if I had to pick a car that I had to have for the next five years, every single day of my life, this would be it. Yeah. Mm. Because it literally does everything mine's just a move for you know for as long as i have it and then it'd be on and i'll probably end up buying one of these to be honest because yeah. it does everything it does it's yeah. brilliant this car is brilliant i really like it the drive has actually made me like it a lot more because the one we drove before in a test drive you video mark was a d300 a diesel, wasn't it yeah this is a different Under, animal yeah underpowered different that animal. Car, yeah. diesel snorry boring it's so <laughs> smooth as well isn't it yeah it's so smooth but it doesn't feel boaty do you know what this does? This makes the Cullinan feel a bit old fashioned in a way. Um, because of the, I like tech, you see, and I like all this. And I think even the drive, the air suspension, I know, I know it's rolls and all that shit, but 
It's, it's just, certainly more traditional in the roles. Yeah, but I don't mind that either. You yeah. take that for what it is. Yeah. Yeah, the dials. Yeah, and, you, yeah. you want dials. I like the character yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah. It's part of Rolls yeah. ownership, I think, to have that classic feel. Yeah, yeah looking out over the bonnet and seeing yeah, the, yeah, and I like, the I silver like lady. That, yeah. Yeah. But then, in terms of drivability, this is probably better. So, yeah. let's, um, well, let's, with that, let's jump we'll in your what, car we'll now see, and um, see what Mike says about mine. See what Mike says about yours, yeah, because it's following us now. We get out here. And now we're going to magically, we're gonna let's all jump up in the air in our seats and we'll all magically land in the Cullen. Ready? Three, Three two, two, one, go! No, you didn't do it. I did. You clicked. We jumped. You clicked. <laughs> I didn't. I, I clicked. Rich you clicked. clicked. Rich clicked. We jumped. I went. Yeah, that's what we want to do. Oh, shall we do it right. again? So let's uh, magically transport Boom, ourselves to the Cullinan in three, two, one, go! Oh. There we go. And we're in! Don't okay. forget to put your seatbelt on, Mark. Yep. I am <laughs> Safety first. strapped and secure. Let's be honest, the price difference between the two is £300,000. It's staggering. Worth every penny. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a monumental it's amount. Got, the carpet is outrageous. The door closes by a button. Yeah. It's, everything's buttoned. You've got to That's say, done. like you said, there's a lot of character in this car that they've re retained, yet bringing in the modern... It's, it is incredible inside this car. It is incredible. Yeah. It it feels, no, it, these have got shooting stars. And have it, you got any... You want to bring a duster really. in? There's loads of fluff up here. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? Starlight headliner. Oh, Starlight headliner. Oh, you can, is that the star? You can turn the, the stars up on it. You do it here. You I think you do it from the front and the back. Oh, if you, you turn it dark, light. You've been a few. It's unbelievably comfortable. You're in that that Range Rover, and you think, how could you possibly be in a more comfortable car than this? And somehow this is big, though, Mike. Right? It's massive. When you're actually in it, the cockpit doesn't feel as big as it again looks outside. Whereas I find your car looks bigger outside and you get in it and it's... Oh, I don't know, it looks big outside this. This looks enormous. I mean, you're very much like Alan Sugar driving this. Has it got TVs and stuff in there? Have yeah. You, have you got the, yeah, in the yeah, things in there? Yeah, there Not actually, Mark, yeah. can you just figure out how to use it? Yeah. It drives very similar to the other it, car, though. To yours? Yeah. Done it? Yeah. The it's experience is different because every single person down the road is looking at you. But there's not much you know, in it, This guy is it? looking at us, you know, everyone's looking at you. That's the difference with... Yeah. With this car, in a lot of ways, yours drives. It's more, it's more responsive, isn't it? It's, it's, um, it's more firmer, nimble, isn't it? More yeah. Nimble. Yeah, yeah, more nimble. Yeah. More nimble. More yeah. nimble. Yeah. More nimble. <laughs> but it's not boaty to the extent as I thought it would be. But it's a lot softer than the Range Rover. Yeah. You re like, you really don't notice there's any bump in this car. No, no. nothing. Nothing at all. No. Well, we're going on Holdenhurst Road in a, in a minute, the uh, yeah, the, the world, bumpiest the road in the world. Yeah. So we'll we'll test that, shall we? Yeah. It's pretty bouncy going down here, Mark. It is still pretty bouncy it going is. down here. This is the worst road it's in the bouncy, world. Bouncy, but it's still soft. Still coping with yeah. it. Coping with it. So this car's got like heat steering wheel, heat seats, massage seats. You can massage your bum on it. Mm. Nice. Yeah, it's. Can it's someone cool. massage my bum in the back? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, can the car? Can the car do it? Do you know what I like is the nomenclature about the, um, what? the heat. The what? The what? The, the, the nomenclature. Have you just got that off of Loic? No, Did it's a, <laughs> it, it means like it's like the language that is used to, to a certain image. I've never had so much guff in my life. Do you know one thing I'll say about this car, is, right? It's soft. You've lost on it. It. Can I say one thing? You know, you get into a car and you can set your climate, your temperature, it's sink everywhere. This car doesn't have that. You've got off soft, medium, high, max. And then you've so got these no things to rotate. No, so you're so forever trying to find the, the right, right, temperature. The the right, right temperature. level of. But I love the switches. I yeah. love the switches and the yeah. dials. And the dash in front of you is very yeah. retro, isn't very it? Very retro, although it's it's not really. It's just they've just put metal rings on it. It's still it's still a digital digital dash, digital dash but with the metal rings to um, to make it feel like the the, uh, the old school dials, which is the point I, think, I was trying to make yeah. was the fact that with the, the nomenclature, the, uh, yeah. nom the nomenclature, <laughs> it's uh, instead of they could easily say low, medium, high on the vent speed, yep. but mm -hmm. it says soft. And somehow that the language used saying soft instead of low 
makes it feel more luxurious. Okay. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, look at you. <laughs> the, it, it means like the language of it. Okay. I don't think there's a car on the road that has such a road presence as this. No. Or four by four. There's not. Um, no, it's massive. When I drove this car earlier to do the B-roll shots, there's so many people are looking at yeah, it. Yeah, it's a head turner. It's it's unbelievable how many people look at it. This is the sort of car when you turn up, you've arrived. And you go, oh, here he is. He's you've arrived. arrived at your destination. No, just he's arrived. Here he is. Here he comes. Bosh. Yeah. I'm not mucking about. So, Rich, what I want to know is why, because let's be honest for this price point you could have bought pretty much any car why let that's a really good question mark really good question why because i had to tick the box man the rolls box i had to work. it's something that i've had a bee in my bonnet for well since day one since a little boy yeah because your dad had. my dad had a rolls um and that and now i'm experiencing the same things what you know my dad used to drop me to school I was quite proud of it being a boy, but my sisters used to hate it. Now, I, I pick up my girls from school and they, they, they try and hide as they're coming out. Do you know what I mean? Right. I quite like the funniness of that. Because think it's too much. Well, it is, isn't it? It's ostentatious. There's no way around it's it. It's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot. Um, and I'm fully aware of that. But it, and it's got its positives and negatives, but I had to do it. I'll only do it once. This is it. Yeah. It's a lot of money. But, you know, I don't keep cars long anyway. No. Um, but yeah, it's a life experience. Mike put it the best way. It's a life experience that I can say, yeah, I had one. And I've kind of completed the car game now. Yeah. Like if, it was, if it was a video game. You've completed I've it. I've completed it and I'm done. Well, and now I think oh, I've, you can't be done it, I think, I think How old I, you now? I, don't know, I can't do sports cars anymore. I'm too old. 49. 33. No, 43 I am. <laughs> I think. Oh, that's that's sad to have completed no. the car game. But you're not, because something else will come. Something else something will come. Something else will I don't come. Know. You go, oh, like, I don't know. I think. I need to have one of them. I think, you know, I've probably just going by what you've got, Mike. I love your car. I think you're done with the supercar game. Oh, I'm done with, yeah, yeah. I'm just, I don't know how these guys, mind you, don't stop coming to us, but I'm like <laughs> 65 that want to buy Ferraris and Lamborghinis, Urises and stuff, I get yeah. totally. Yeah. But it's the getting in and out of them and the driving of them and the, you know, do you know what I mean? But I think the difference with them, with our our good customers who are they in don't that use position, them every day. They don't use them every day. Yeah, they've they got, they've got, they've got, day. they've got six different cars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I get that. Yeah, I yeah. totally get that. And they've only got to get in it once a week yeah. when it's sunny if yeah. they want to go and get. Whereas the paper. my cars, my car, I use it every day. <coughs> yeah. So I, it, that's and it's got to do I'm everything. With. Yeah. yeah. It's but a V12, but it doesn't sound like it's, it's just so quiet. But what will be interesting with this car eventually in a minute, it's going to be electric, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, you would have thought so. And the, it, the next version of it. Well, Rolls or Royce. a hope, we've got oh, the Spectre of you. Yeah, the Spectre's come in, yeah. Have you tried to take it to Tesco's yet and park in the car park? No, that's the other thing. Can't go to NCP. You can't go to Tesco's. You can't park in a normal space because it takes up a space and a half. You park on a street, someone will smash it up. And if you, yeah, if you want to run into a restaurant with the kids or whatever, you're worried. So where do you park so, it? Genuinely, are someone you going to scratch it just because they're going to scratch yellows, it? Double yellows, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. You, you park at double yellows and you look like a total. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you already look a big enough. Yeah. Did, did <laughs> you, you simply park? park? <laughs> if you get out of town on a Saturday, where would you? What would you do? Where would you park it? Well, mate, I wouldn't. I'd go in Lucy's car. Or you'd have a driver and yeah, get him to sit in it. Oh, do you know what I found? Since I've owned it, I haven't used it weekends. Yeah. yeah. It sits yeah. on the drive because scared drive, I'm scared to leave it anywhere or whatever. Yeah. There's something about getting in this car though. You start in the morning and she pops up on the front. You're like, oh. Yeah, yeah. Listen, I wouldn't take it back. I'm pleased I did it. It was a bit of a spur of the moment thing. Thanks to you, Simon. But yeah, I, I've really enjoyed owning it so far. Yeah. And then that. What are you doing back there? You press the button and a shooting star went. Oh, really? Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What button? Yeah. <laughs> 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 button. Okay. <laughs> It's not my road. fault you lot aren't educated as I am. Well, can you get educated? You've just weird, seen weird, that on. Weird, weird, you've just seen that on Instagram uh, yeah, somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to use that. I'm going to use. Yeah, really I'm going to remember next time we're on a video. I'm going to use this. Mark, we're going to need to press here, mate. That button. Next time, we show you the work that has gone on at Premier Sports Customs.